Saturn and Plebs YCS Bochum 2016 has just started and is now underway. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to go, but on the plus side, I get to do some uh, coverage to an extent on the YouTubes with the news and stuff. So uh, managed to get the day one uh, deck breakdowns. Um, we have honestly something that's quite a little bit unique and different. Uh, it's very, very diverse in terms of the representation. There's a couple of surprises here. So for example, Rogue obviously is like the most like almost half that that's understandable that's always the case um metal foes 269 and abc 260 um so the 1600 players total 1603 to be exact abc and metal foes virtually the exact same representation you have just as much chance of seeing metal foes as you do seeing abc at this tournament um another thing that is perhaps not as surprising is paleozoics taking 129 spots um this is because of the fact that uh, it probably got two spots in top four at ycs anaheim so people have gotten kind of uh, attracted to it mermel as well is a hugely represented deck um Normally, Mermel tends to be like almost considered rogue, uh, but it seems like people have really picked up on the on the first turn Toad plays the deck can do. Uh, and of course, Mermel is uh, almost about the same representation as Hero Toad. Uh, again, Heroes got really strong, being sorry, being able to make um, Toad and um, Dark Claw turn one is obviously very very strong. Uh, Blue Eyes and. Uh, finally, we have PK Fire. PK Fire, surprisingly, hardly anyone at all is playing it. 52 people out of 1,600 playing PK Fire. Um, Burning Abyss has always been just a deck that's just been there. It's just always been around. And despite its low representation, it's probably going to get, like, one top, because that's how BA works. It just sits there. It just It's like a virus. But, yeah, um, obviously, the biggest thing to look out for, Metal Foes and ABC, that, that was not really... A surprising people were going to expect to play against that a lot play with it a lot um paleozoic of course is the is the new scary thing so it seems like uh you know those denkos better be in the side deck um and just g generic like broken first turn board is what we're seeing this for this format so that so we are going to be playing against a lot of like annoying abc first turns with like buster sook trap and then there's like hero toads who open really well and it's a pretty consistent deck and mermels of course doing the exact same thing so yep this has been your deck representation guys i gotta go to work i'm glad i managed to get this out in time so thanks for watching let me know what you think down below and see you next time come face me give in to your pride